Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, we took the idea of a breakfast burrito and we added a cheesesteak. So let's call it a cheesesteak breakfast burrito. If you guys want to see how we make this, here we go. All right, just going through the list of things that we need to go over before we get started. So this is the idea. How can we incorporate another cheesesteak? Oh, I'm tired of cheesesteak. I'm not. Absolute love them. The funny thing is, if you call it a Philly cheesesteak, you can't add anything else to it. But if you take a ribeye, add some peppers, some eggs, some cheese, then all of a sudden it's like, it's fantastic. But what if we throw in some crispy hash browns? We don't call it a Philly, we just call it a cheesesteak. And so let's make a breakfast cheesesteak burrito. You guys got it? Yeah. Good. All right, so here we go. We got a prom uh, strip. The actual strip was on sale. It's actually cheaper than the ribeye and it has way more fat than the ribeyes there. So. We have a strip. We're going to go with that. We got the onions because you got your cheesesteak. We got your provolone because we got the cheesesteak. Crispy tater tots on the griddle. Check. Love my W sauces. Uh, that's the breakfast version. We've used it in that country fried steak. It was outstanding. We thought this is what separated the dish. And then, simply, we got some cheddar to go on the eggs, some eggs, and some peppers. I think it's going to be great. Yep. Could be wrong. I doubt it. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's get some prep work done. All right, the griddle's on low. I'm just gonna throw some tater tots down, get those slowly heated up, and then we can add the oil and fry them later. This won't matter at all. A couple snack ones. I was gonna say, go ahead and make some extra for the kids. Oh, God, who are we kidding? <laughs> who are we kidding? That'll be good for the peppers and onions, and then we'll cut that up for the actual cheese steak. This is actually a jalapeno. So we got the sweet peppers and then a jalapeno. Grains are running this way and then they sharply change. So let's just take that eye out right there. And then let's just cut completely against the grain, just as thin as you can cut it. I'm just trying to trim some of this fat out. Obviously fat is flavor, so I don't want to get rid of it, but instead of throwing it away, we're just gonna start letting it uh, render out inside the potatoes. Just like that. So don't throw your fat out. You might not like to chew through it, but don't throw it out. It's good flavor. Got some uh, ghee that I've been working with. So I'm just gonna put that down here. Put it down here because my griddle runs downhill. So we'll be able to get that fat rendered and all that stuff. So. As it melts, it's going to find all those little nooks and crannies all the way down to the back. Basically, all I've been doing is just rotating the uh, tater tots back and forth. Just trying to make sure we get some crispiness on there. I think the crunch factor might go a long ways inside this. So I'm going to start those onions to go inside the cheesesteak because I like my onions to be done just a little bit more. Keep those separate. And then this is gonna be the vegetables for the eggs. Little crispy hash browns. Still got that fat on there, rendering some out. We've turned the griddle on low. Take a little bit of that, smash that, because it's got a little bit of that grill flavor in there. Not much. Hit a little shake that, mirror those flavors. Notice no extra oil, you won't need it. It's got a lot of fat in there to begin with. So what I'm doing is just the idea of using a hot and cold zone, okay? 
This side of the griddle still on. This got a, uh, the griddle. This side of the griddle still off. Um, but I'm just letting that residual heat come back up, finish that steak. I don't want to overcook it. I want to keep it as juicy as possible. So allowing it to cook on that low heat is going to do that. Just a touch of seasoning. A little bit of butter in those vegetables. Just so you know, if one of those peppers goes in here, you've ruined everything, okay? So you really <laughs> gotta work on keeping this separate. Put that provolone cheese down, get that incorporated. All right, we're gonna completely move that over. I got a piece of cheddar cheese. Break that up, put that on top of here, because once it hits the griddle, it's gonna happen pretty fast. I'm just trying to pre-grain. I'm not gonna season the eggs. I think everything has been seasoned pretty much, uh, pretty good so far, so I don't think there's any reason to over-season. Just rewarming our hash browns and make them a little bit extra crispy. Finishing those vegetables off. Notice how I just drug that butter, watch. See how it's not really melting? See the bubbles? That's your zone cooking, right? So that's how I know where to put the eggs. If it gets too hot on this right side, I'm gonna back it off to the left side. All this is done without using a thermometer, just gauging it with butter. Cheese steak. Some tater tots. Top that off with just a little bit more cheese. I just don't think it had enough. That breakfast sauce. Those eggs. Mmm. Golly, that looks like a breakfast of champions. Absolutely. It ain't gonna work. Will it work? <laughs> too, no way. Too big? Oh, yeah. Oh, it'll work. <laughs> All righty. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, golly. Probably not a good chance of this staying together. I definitely overstuffed this bad boy, but isn't that what food is all about? So... At least if I can get the first bite down. <laughs> and then you gotta feed me a bite. Mmm. <laughs> Nailed it. Any excuse you do <laughs> a cheesesteak, crispy tater tots. Mm. Kinda get a little soggy, but you understand the idea. The Boy. sauce adds the vinegar, almost like the idea of a hot sauce, the cheesiness, the creaminess, mm. the eggs. That is amazing. Mmm. Huh. That's one of the better breakfasts you've made lately. I mm -hmm. feel like, God, give me another bite. Mm. Mm. All right, you know what to do. Mm. You know when I make something this good, I challenge you guys to make it, share mm. it on the Facebook group. Because I'm telling you, once you do, it's going to be a hard breakfast to beat. You can do, yeah, and you actually do this multiple ways. You don't have to use a tortilla. You can put it on, obviously, in a roll, ciabatta. You could just do it in a bowl, like Over a hash brown bowl. Oh, no, we want that bread, honey. Mm -hmm. We want to be carved up that day. <laughs> we only made one. I need to make another one. If you guys are interested, hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on Instagram. Like I said, don't forget about us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Mm, that is a winner, honey. <laughs> That's super good. If you make it to the end of this video, comment Philly for all the Philly haters out there saying, That's not a cheesesteak. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's good. <laughs>